my kids hating to go to school right now because they don't want to go to school because everybody keep trying to bully them because of they uncle lost. That's crazy. It's just like they they trying to like bully my kids and all this all because they uncle fought and you know he lost like come on man I'm, bro but like at the end of the day like bro it's boxing bro like you know what I'm saying you win some you lose some and I'm 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 down with everything but like no we not we have we have lemonade we got lemonade what y'all talking about we drinking lemonade. We, got, we ain't having no drink. Y'all stupid ass. Shut y'all dumb ass up. He drunk. He drunk. That's all y'all gonna get. That's all, that's the only way y'all can try to fuck with me. It's not a question of if we think Jamal is drunk. Jamal, we know you drunk. We have seen Jamal on camera so many times hiding out of his mind. Because y'all think I'm drunk. No, dumb ass. I'm drunk. I done seen Jamal so high that he couldn't even put his glasses on straight. I done seen Jamal so high that he tried to put his finger on his nose and touched his eyebrow. You know, the data is out there. And one thing that I do know is when Jamal is feeling, you know what I'm saying, feeling the juice or whatever and whatnot. I'm, just drink, I'm drinking lemonade. I'm just enjoy, enjoying the night with my kids. I'm bomb. He has habits. And one of his biggest habits when he started to drink is he tends to go live, which is why we've seen him high live so many times, you know? Now, here, he's talking about his kids getting teased and whatever and whatnot. That's baffling to me. That is completely baffling to me. Like, I don't understand that. That's kind of backwards. I would like to have thought that Caleb's plant just smack in the whole spirit and your uh, ancestral lineage up out of you. I would think that would have your kids at school getting bullied or teased. But that wasn't it. It was the fact that their uncle lost in a fair boxing match in a professional sport. But you get the soul slapped up out of you in front of you, the world, and for the most part, I guess your spouse or whatever and whatnot, and I heard the story about why Caleb Plant ended up slapping you in the first place, and you deserve that shit. A hundred percent. You know, I hate people to talk like that. I really do. But anyways, don't get me wrong. I like Jamal. Jamal, a good cat. But him keep going live and going and getting high. This is why if you do fight Canelo at this point, once again, how can you give any credit for that? Jamal is the obvious drunk. Jamal is obvious. Obviously, that's somebody who shouldn't still be a champion. You know, it's no question about that. At all. Good dude. Good brother for the most part. Horrible boxer, man. Horrible work ethic. Horrible all that. And the thing is, I just think he just fell in love with the bottle because I couldn't, I don't see nothing that bad. He, he Jamal either had or has, I don't know. Oh, big ass house, living great for doing nothing, this, this, and that. So life is good. So I don't see nothing getting bad. So I don't see him, you know what I'm saying, clinging to the bottle because he's troubled. I think he just like Otis from the Temptations. He just got turned out. He just like it. You know what I'm saying? And the only time he feels something or get passionate like he should be for the sport of boxing is when he drinking and when he reads some of the stuff that y'all say to him online, then he gotta go live. And this is the crazy part. How in the hell you gonna go live complaining about that stuff and being in your feelings? Cause once again, it, it's a sign that he's drinking. When you out with your family, that's oh not God, a time God, to address we... that. And if I remember watching the video correctly, Somebody told you to get off the damn live. You know what I'm saying? If you out with your family eating crab, this, this, and that, that kind of video, what you want to do, you could have saved that. But when y'all got home and put the kids to bed and all that other stuff, this, this, and that, you out there, I'm going to put it like this. You only took away from your time from them entertaining that bullshit. And that only happened because when you get that juice and you stuff get to you and you got to go live.
and then you end up embarrassing yourself and people not taking you serious and end up calling you drunk which infuriates you even more but you know every time somebody see you you drunk the data's out there they got enough proof to analyze when you sober and when you not sober it's very easy to tell when you've been drinking or you under some substance it's the same thing with errol spence now i can look at errol spence and tell when he's drinking now it's not even hard but you put yourself in that position but the question is how are we supposed to take you serious as an opponent and ain't you supposed to have a canelo fight or something like that this is what i'm talking about boxing is a joke but they got you at the right time i'll tell them that y'all we and, it, and if any one of y'all kids touch my kids, I'm gonna tell my kids to go ahead and snap on y'all. Then y'all understand. Pop, snap on them. They get the tweaking, snap on them. Jump, Jamal Jr. But jump, snap on them. Journey, snap on them. Go and get your get your leg back. Canelo, what's up, nigga? <laughs> yeah, baby, I see you soon.